everyone, mega mega love shout out sa lahat Once again, tara, ituloy natin yung biyahe natin papuntang Father Ray Children Village mga langga Ituloy natin kasi medyo mahaba-haba kayon Ayan, thank you ulit mga langga, salamat po ulit sa inyong pagmamahal kay Maharing V Thank you ng marami mga langga, ayan, malapit na tayo mga langga Ayan, at napakaganda po mga langga dito sa Father Ray Children Village ayan. Ayan, salamat mga langga. I hope you enjoy. Ayan, yung pa, uh, mission namin sa Pataya, Thailand mga langga kay Father Ray Foundation. Ayan, please support mga langga sa foundation na ito kasi napaka, na, maraming matutulungan ito mga langga. Ayan, thank you ng marami mga langga ha. Salamat po ulit. Mega mega love siya sa lahat. Ayan, tuloy po. Ayan, diretso na Maring V. Ayan, thank you na marami. Thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy mga langga Ayan, dito tayo at patunghanan nyo ang, ang kagandahang loob Na iniwan ni Father Ray Foundation Mga langga Ayan, once again, salamat mga langga Enjoy watching
organization run by the Redemptorist congregation. So I was in the seminary for 12 years, but, but now I'm not a priest. <laughs> yeah. I changed vocation. Oh. So this, these two men, they are the seminarians. Oh. They are just from uh, the minor seminary. They just oh, came to here this afternoon oh. because the director of the seminary want me to train Grain them an experience of their social worker. Yeah. You know? Okay, like this, sir, ma'am. Here, our family village, we have 120 kids, most boys and girls from 3 years old until 18. So, back 50 years ago during the Vietnam War, Father Ray he was assigned to be the chaplain in this area, in Pattaya, because uh, 50 years ago during the Vietnam War, the American military, they settled the military base in Pattaya. Pattaya used to be the countryside beach city. And when the American army came, it changed everything to be the touristic place. After that, run with a lot of problems. So one day, Father Ray, he found the baby in front of the church gate which called St. Nicolas Church, yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah, he found the baby and he, oh, what I'm going to do? Okay, the cook helped me to take care of this baby. Day by day, more and more and more babies. So he decided to start the orphanage house. Okay, until now, it's already 50 years. For the way he passed, passed away like 20 years already. We just have the memorial of his pass away last year on August 19th. So it's already 20 years that he passed away, but his work is already 50 years. Now in our Father Ray Foundation, we have five projects. Father Ray Student Village, yeah. the Vocational College for the Disability, yeah. the School yeah. for the Blind, yeah. uh, the School for the Special Needs Kids, mm -hmm. and the Daycare for the Little yeah. Kids. So here, we have 120 kids, and we don't call our place Orphanage House because the, this work is very pain for our kids yeah. that's why we call here Father Ray Children Village mm -hmm. and we call our kids Father Ray Children mm -hmm. yes. Father Ray Sons, Father Ray Daughters this is the word that we create for the psych it's about the psychology yeah. you know? yeah. so how the kids come to us in the past when Father Ray found the kids on the road or who hold the hand of the kids he just received but now that we couldn't do like that because for example if one man holding the girl to here and give us and we take care after that around two or two weeks there will be someone post a suit paper on our uh, like we kidnap the kids so how we help now for example if you have your neighbor and your neighbor abuse the kid by physical, mental, or even sexual, and you're not okay with that, you call the police, and the police will come to help. And then the police will take the kids to the children's home that belongs to the government. It's have in every city in Thailand. The kids can be in that house for three months. During that three months, they will look for the relative of the kids or the safe place that the kids can stay. But if they couldn't find in three months, the first place that the government will contact is our place, Father Ray Foundation. So when they transfer from the government house to us, first thing we do is we're looking for the school for the kids. Our kids didn't study inside here. They study outside around here. We have the van and the bus to go to send them to, to the school. Why? We didn't create the school here because we want them to learn about the social, to have a social life with the other. So they can study here. They have the right to decide they want to study the vocational college or the, just the high school, whatever. We support them. We support them until they are 18. So when they turn to 18, they have right to sign themselves out to work or to be back with the family. But if they want to continue to study in the university, we support them until they finish. But depend on their behavior. If they are good, okay, we, we support you. But if you did very badly behavior, okay, goodbye. 18, let's say goodbye. So we help them at your uh, university and then we help them to find also the job. Yeah. This is our process of Father Ray Foundation to take care of the kids. That is uh, our nurse room. So every morning we have the van to transfer our kids to the hospital. The local hospital. Yeah, even though we have the nurse room, if we got the worst case or the disease that our kids have, we, we 
care so much about the health of the kids. And yeah, we have small girl, big girl, small boy, big boy. So you see, it's how it's like a how actual house. And each house we have one staff to take care of. So in kids, we have one house. Yeah.